Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your January 2021 messages from Spirit Reading and it is for the sign of Sagittarius so I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your Spirit Message card Sagittarius to start the reading and remember these readings can be something big or small, specific or they can just be advice or a message, you know, it's that kind of energy. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, a message for Sagittarius. Love that energy. We have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Isn't that lovely? Nice message there. Let's pull another card. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message for Sagittarius? Okay. So we have number five, Between Worlds. New Directions. And I love the energy. You see that turtle? It feels like it's just being held in the cosmos. It's just being held and guided and pulled in the right direction. So it feels in this energy, if you're doubting yourself, if something's getting you down, you're being told to regroup, you know, be proud of who you are and what you're capable of. And remember that, you know, sometimes certainly it's hard isn't it when we go through difficult times to actually focus on our own accomplishments because for some of you you're absolutely being told you are absolutely being held here towards new directions towards the right direction it feels very very beautiful indeed and even though you might feel in that life transition or stuck between even the past and the pre you know past and future or you know it's that kind of energy between worlds it feels for some of you that you are absolutely being held and guided so you know, trust that. Love the energy there, Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is you, your challenge that you need help from Spirit on. The second card is advice from Spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Sagittarius. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message from Spirit for January 2021, please? Thank you. So we have the Eight of Pentacles in the challenge position. Knight of Cups, generally a card of Pisces for me as a reader, um, is advice from Spirit. And the Ace of Swords, lovely energy, is your outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, please. You. I've got the Hermit card, card of Virgo. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy. And the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Moon. Again, card of Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify these, the Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. For Sagittarius. Thank you. So it's the Page of Pentacles that clarifies this Knight of Cups. And let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Thank you. 
So we have the Seven of Wands with this Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify this between worlds for Sagittarius, please. Clarify this between worlds for Sagittarius, please. Okay, I've got strength and the lovers. Now, the lovers can be about love, romance, relationships. It is a card of, it can be a decision in love. And the strength card is having the courage, the strength to face fears or adversity and to have courage in doing and be resolute to deal with the situation by being in your power, by tapping into your inner strength to overcome some kind of challenge in your external environment. So for some of you, it feels to do with there's, there's been issues in terms of love, romance, relationships. And maybe there's a choice or a decision because for some of you, it might well be that this between worlds is feeling that you might want to find some kind of direction, but it might hinge on some kind of decision that you need to make or issues in terms of love, romance, relationships here. Finding the right direction finally for you and having the courage and the strength, the strength to, to, to deal with this. It feels like something has been hard work here, Sagittarius, because the Hermit card is a card of healing it's a card of introspection, going within, finding illumination, which is, you know, that, that little star in the lantern is source, God, the divine, the universe, giving you illumination as you shine the lamp on your internal energy, on your internal world, on how you need to move forward. So it feels in this situation that This is about going within and understanding how you need to move forward in your external environment because something has been hard work. I mean, the Eight of, of Pentacles, it might well be that you're working through a situation and it feels to do with love, romance, relationships, working through it. And it might well be that sometimes we focus on things like our money and career practically you know, on what is going to bring us stability, security, safety um, on one area of our lives when another area of our lives is, is challenged. So it might well be that that means this for some of you as well, but this is also a Virgo energy, which is you heal by working through it, by focusing on the positive, productive things that you can do. Um, and that's what I'm feeling that you are doing, but it is, it is your challenge. That it feels like a healing process here. And that's why there's a sense of caught between two worlds because it's still this kind of transition, something that you're working through. The, the page of, of pentacles can be messages to do with an opportunity here. So the Knight of, it's interesting because the Knight of Cups is a card, I mean, it can be somebody offering you love. I mean, it can be a romantic sense, the Knight of Cups, somebody offering you love, romance, relationships. I mean, it can also be, I mean, the Page of Pentacles can be learning something new, skills development, can be in terms of financial career opportunity, news on that. Um, and with the Knight of Cups, it, it feels it's linked to some kind of offer, opportunity that is bringing you joy. If it's not to do with love, there's something coming into you and it feels out of the blue, maybe a little bit unexpected here. 
uh, by your actions. And again, there's an energy of you, you doing the practical positive things, focusing on the practical areas that you need to focus on now to, to bring that feeling of safety, stability, work through a situation. The pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So again, with this Knight of Cups, it feels like the Cups is happy energy. Uh, the Cups is emotional energy as well. And it feels like something is beginning to look up here. Uh, so that could be in terms of love, romance, relationships coming to you, coming into your life, bringing change. Or it can well be for some of you, some kind of offer, opportunity coming in that is bringing you joy, happiness. It feels very beautiful energy because the Eight of Wands, it can be to do with, I mean, for some of you, this could be meeting somebody online if it's love. Uh, some of you might be applying for jobs online. Some of you might be kind of like traveling. I mean, sometimes this can be about distance. I mean, part of the illumination, it might well be to put some distance between whatever situation that you're working through as well. So some of you might be looking at opportunities to bring shifts in your life. I mean, the Eight of Wands is a card of your actions are bringing shifts. The, the universe is working with you in tandem to bring energy shifts, movement, progress to a situation here. So it feels in this situation... Sagittarius, there is some shift coming. I mean, that could be some conversation that leads to something solid for me as a reader. It feels that that is feeling, feeling very beautiful. And it could be at a distance. You could be talking to somebody at a distance, you know, as well, or online. Can also be to do with networking. So it, it feels like what this Knight of Cups is, is bringing you some offer opportunity, either in matters of the heart or it could be to do with finance, business, career. But there's definitely some positive progress, energy shifts here happening your way. So it feels very beautiful. Because the Seven of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Seven of Wands is a card of being strong, resolute. This is again Leo energy and we have Leo with the Strength card. So when you feel, I mean, this can be about if you're, I mean, it, it can be a card of competition here, Sagittarius, I have to say. If you're competing against somebody else, it could be for an opportunity that the Queen of Pentacles holds. This is a card of, of you're getting on top of a situation. You're ahead of the competition by your effort, hard work you are getting on top of something. So it definitely feels for some of you that you're kind of head and shoulders above some kind of competition. If you're going for some, if you're competing for some kind of opportunity now, very good in terms of money and career. Um, but it's also an energy of you could be challenged by somebody, what this Queen of Pentacles represents. So male or female energy, she is somebody who is focused she's also very nurturing um understands how to provide financially i mean it feels sometimes can be a working parent as well i mean for some of you if this isn't another person in your life it could be your energy what you've been manifesting here this is somebody who is who understands how to bring growth and abundance into their own into their life in their own right? They understand how to manifest success, uh, but also this is a healing energy as well. So the challenge in healing from something, but also the challenge in maybe providing financially for you, you know, your loved ones, your home, your property, and so on. It, it feels like something's happened here, and there is some kind of challenge here. I mean, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, maybe that, I mean, sometimes yes, if swords can talk about division, separation, uh, could in chords. 
And it, it feels in this situation, Sagittarius, if there's been some breakup in terms of love, romance, relationship, you're focusing on what you need to do to bring abundance, stability, security, material success into your life. Um, but also understanding how to heal from the past, but you're doing that by working through a situation and focusing on the things that you need to focus on now. I mean, the Ace of Swords is the victory, the triumph card as well. And it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe, because you can see the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of mountains at the bottom of this card, and it's a kind of analogy to say that you've had to climb a lot of mountains to get this Ace of Swords, to get this victory, to get this breakthrough, to get this sense of achievement and accomplishment. But now this new door, this new beginning is opening for you by your own actions, by your own energy, by your own hard work. So definitely some kind of victory, a feeling of success, accomplishment. And the moon energy is a wonderful energy of your being guided every step of the way. But again, the Knight of Cups with the Piscean energy, it might well be that the victory is brought by this Knight of Cups, this offer, this opportunity, this whatever is coming into you. It feels for some of you, you're ready to start the new path. You know, it could well be with a Pisces, but obviously, if that's not the not the if not if it's not a Pisces for you, which it won't be for everybody, the Moon is a card of trusting your intuition. You're being guided, watched over, even though you don't see the bigger picture. The universe does, and it's guiding you every step of the way through your intuition, dreams, and so on. So it is a card of when you don't have clarity in a situation, when you don't understand how to move forward, your intuition, hidden blessings is guiding you towards this success, this new beginning. So again, I did say this at the beginning of the reading, Sagittarius, and it's funny how it's come full circle because you are absolutely being held. You are being held this month. And, you know, this Eight of Wands is, it is kind of like the universe bringing in things out of the blue for you, but it's also by your own action, hard work, that you're bringing change to your situation, shifts, movement victory, success, accomplishment, having been challenged. And it feels, it feels in this situation something's happened, possibly in terms of love, romance, relationships, where you've needed strength, courage, faith, to stand resolute, to stand on your own ground, on your own terms, and discover your own power to bring, to bring change to your situation, because this is where that be proud comes in know what you're capable of now and then just do it that's what you're being told because you're being held yeah it's a lovely lovely energy okay i'm going to pull a final card for you final message for sagittarius please angel spirits guides Final message for Sagittarius, thank you. So the first one is the snake. I love the snake energy because it's a card of shed an old skin. It feels like that's what you're doing by focusing on the productive, practical things that you need to do to provide for yourself, maybe your family as well. Um, it feels very, very beautiful here, but there's a sense of rising again with this. We have Kundalini rising with the snake. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Absolutely beautiful. And the elephant we have grounding. Ground your energies deep, sorry, ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. And that's what this pentacles energy is doing for you because pentacles is earth energy. It is the practical, focusing on the practical, productive, positive things in your life and that's what the queen of pentacles does so well you see that focus she focuses with unwavering intent on the practical productive things that she needs to do to bring abundance and growth into her life so it feels absolutely there's a challenge here but you will overcome it by being in your power by having that strength and discovering what you're made of but also an energy of you are absolutely being held through this transition. Beautiful energy. 
I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful January for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.